you know, um, being in law enforcement for 17 years, when I started uh, my career, which was in 2005, I was a, a rookie cop on the streets, city streets in Precinct 3. Um, I had my own beat, which is Beat 9 in the Lake Heiko, Northside Drive, Hanging Moss area. And what I wanted to do, I wanted to make sure I uh, bridged that gap when it comes to the, the stigma us versus them. I wanted the citizens to know that I was there for them. It wasn't no, it wasn't no division when it came to the mindset that I have. Um, been in, been here for 25 years because I am from um, originally from Michigan, but I call myself an Eminem because I'm from Michigan, but I reside in Mississippi. Went to school for undergrad in criminal justice and graduate as far as elementary education at Jack State and played sports. But my main, my main. Um, Thing was to connect with the citizens. I gave them my number. Um, they were able to tell me things that would better serve them as far as any type of criminal activity that took place. And from that point, I built relationships because one thing about it, you got to have relationships in law enforcement. I built relationships on a national level, a local level, and a state level when it comes to different municipalities and jurisdictions. So I have great relationships that will help me be, be the best Hines County Sheriff uh, in, in Hines County ever because when, when people call upon me, I get the job done. When citizens call upon me, I get the job done. With all the, the, the other municipalities, that the friendships that I have, I get the job done. And that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to share what you have as far as the knowledge and you're also supposed to, you have the give and take. It's called give and take and it's about relationships. So I'm, I'm all open for opening up, throwing out the red carpet, and making sure that I continue those relationships with the other jurisdictions and making sure that Hines County become a safer place for us all to live. Uh, as a chief law enforcement, as a constable, I have to be able to sit at the table and, and talk to the men and women of other departments. Uh, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem calling the, the sheriffs that border Hines County, uh, Rankin, um, uh, Madison, uh, Warren, uh, even Capaya. We, we have to... We have to get back to the days. I've been in, in law enforcement 32 years. I worked in the sheriff's department for 16 under Sheriff McMillan. Under that, I, I saw it. I, I saw the process where sheriff deputies and sheriffs would, would come down, sit at the table, eat lunch together. Um, on the weekend, the families may go out to dinner. We have to bring that back. We have to have that, that interaction with our, uh, our fellow border sheriffs as well as the sheriffs throughout the county. We have to do that. There is no way I can be sheriff of Hines County and not have a relationship with uh, the city of Jackson uh, Police Department or um, other entities in this uh, in our municipality, especially in the rural area. So I look forward to sitting at the table, bringing my rural areas in, bringing the local sheriff in, and say, "Hey, let's 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 break bread, let's let's eat lunch, and let's talk about what's going on in our community." Police departments and even the Capitol Police. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> One thing about uh, myself is I'm an advocate of, of networking. I believe in networking. Uh, every local, state, and federal law enforcement in the agency of uh, the Hines County Sheriff Department, uh, once I'm sheriff, we'll uh, network together. Uh, if they need any assistance, uh, the Hines County Sheriff Department will provide uh, assistance to any agency uh, throughout Hines County, as well as our neighboring counties and throughout the state. Building relationships. I've done this over the years. I've worked for the Sheriff's Office for 22 years. I'm already familiar with Sheriff Brian Bailey, Randy Tucker, members of the Capitol Police Department. As of right now, there's a coalition between Edwards, Bolton, Utica, and Arraignment. They have pretty much come together to back each other up because they can't get any help right now from the Sheriff's Office, and that needs to change. Everybody needs to be under one umbrella. Criminals don't follow jurisdictional lines, so why should we? You know, that's a good question. It's very important. Having uh, worked in the FBI Law Enforcement Coordination Unit, I dealt with a lot of entities, and I found that in order for Hines County Sheriff to be uh, Department to be successful, our surrounding uh, law enforcement agencies, they must too be successful. We all have to work together. I'm good at fostering 
uh, relationships. I have the ability, God bless me, with the ability to work outside the box. I, it's not like I just have to work with one agency. I can work with all of them. I realize that each one of these agencies brings something different to the table, just like individuals. Uh, how would I foster? I would probably uh, set up additional meetings with them, especially upon taking office, let them know what my issues are, what my platform is, and see whether or not we can combine our resources, uh, combine intelligence. Intelligence is very important. If something is happening, happening within the city of Jackson or Hines County, I want to make my law enforcement partners knowledgeable of that they too may have something going on. It may be some kind of trend going on in the area, but if you do not communicate, you would not know that. Yes, I would like to interact with other agencies. Um, I would say um, communicate with them a lot better, have training with them on a lot of things if that's pertinent. So when we come together and uh, when something detrimental happens, each, one, uh, each other would know how to respond and what to do. Well, that's a very good question. Now, we've already done that. We have a working relationship with every department in Hines County as well as state and federal. What do I mean by that? Prior to COVID, we were actually having meetings with all of the chiefs of police in every municipality in Hines County as well as outside the county. We were meeting monthly. Now, what we went back and did, once we kind of started being able to meet a little bit, we went back and actually deputized chiefs and assistant chiefs and investigators from the University Medical Center, Hines Community College, Edwards, Bolton. We're working on Raymond. We got Byron. So we already been working on that. We created and got it back up functioning again. A, if you want to call it a metro or a multi-jurisdictional SWAT team. Jackson Police Department, Byron Police Department, Clinton Police Department. We all work together. So if something happens, we're able to respond and we're able to respond in numbers because it requires, if you're on a protracted situation, relief. So when you're able to respond in numbers, you can give your special units like that relief. Well, one, this is this is not an ego thing. You know, that's what you got to understand. Uh, JPD wears an all-black uniform. Uh, Hines County Sheriff Department has changed to an all-brown uniform. Clinton Runt wears an all-navy, and Byron wears a multitude of, of colors, navy being their primary. Then you have the five towns that make up uh, the county. You got to make sure that you ensure uh, and foster better relationships in your communication. You're not leaving anybody out because you're the sheriff. And I've experienced as, as being a chief to where I didn't have a uh, relationship with the current sheriff. And you don't belittle anybody. You make sure that you include everyone. And in doing that, uh, you bring everybody to the table and you map, map out decisions that are best for each individual in their respective areas. Yeah. Well, one thing. I've always been known as a uniter, wanting to bring people together. When I, when I moved out my first neighborhoods in uh, South Hines County uh, three or four or five years ago, the neighbors didn't even know each other. So I, you know, we and within a month we were having uh, we had some land. We were, we were having cookouts and stuff like that. So I've always been known with wanting to be able to bring people together, and it had been pretty good at it. I have worked task force with alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. FBI, U.S. Marshals, and we have worked closely with other departments. Uh, you know, the only way that we're going to turn things around in Jackson, Mississippi, is with partnerships. And we're, we're all involved in this area together. You know, we, we need to reach out to not just not people within Hines County, but uh, agencies with outside. You look at Ridgeland, Mississippi. Ridgeland, Mississippi, in the last 12 months, has brought in 120 businesses. So they're doing something right there. they got a low crime. Uh, we need to work together. We need to put together a task force to uh, to work the city of Jackson and Hines County. So I, I will reach out to every single uh, chief, sheriff within the surrounding area to uh, foster 
good cooperation, better spirits, and try to have you know at least quarterly meetings uh, with all these leaders, if, if more if needed, to uh, you know see how we can help them and how they can help us to uh, turn our city around and, and make it great. Right. <laughs> it's easy. We all uh, is under one umbrella: law enforcement. Law is for the lawless. And so you have to be able to uh, talk on a, on a common level. It's not about who big or small I or you and come to a reasonable uh, command and change and, and working together as a family. That is what is needed in liking communication. Okay. A relationship with other agencies. First, I would have to build my relationship with the officers, correction officers in the sheriff's department and make it more strong or they can trust me. Once I achieve that accomplishment, I will start working with the local agencies that's in Hines County, build a trust with them. Just like for instance, I'm already assistant chief in a small town of Bowdoin. So that's a relationship that I already have. I already have a relationship with the town of Utica, the town of Edwards. I have a small relationship with the town of Raymond because we all are right there in that spot. I also know officers from Clinton, Byron, and Terry, and JPD. At their relationship, it shouldn't be hard because we are already one family. We just gotta learn how to respect one another and be honest with each other. That's a relationship we should have. That's a relationship that I have with these departments already. JPD trains us when they have special classes, we're invited to them. Hines County invites us to the classes. We go there. We also go with the Mississippi Highway Patrol, Department of Public Safety. Those are good relationships and good ties. And we will continue to keep that relationship and be on it. Well, you have to have working relationships and partnerships with other agencies outside of your local agency, meaning the Hines County Sheriff's Office. So what you have to do is have an open line of communication with these agencies. You will have to provide resources that you have to these agencies as well. You also need to know what type of resources these other agencies have for you as well. So when it comes to a certain task or a certain area or a need to address crime, then everyone, everyone knows exactly what this agency is doing. They would know um, exactly what the Highest County Sheriff's Office is doing, Jackson Police Department, Capitol Police, that way, everybody will be on the same page and everybody will have the same come and go as it relates to whatever it is that you're addressing. But again, you have to have that open line of communication between the agencies first and foremost. I guess the reason why I asked you to repeat that because the question is, what would I do? I guess a better way to answer that, what I'm already doing. Since taking this office some 60 days ago, the first calls I made uh, to uh, local law enforcement officers within the Tri-County area was to Sheriff Brian Bailey and Sheriff Randy Tucker. Obviously, um, Madison Rankin County borders uh, Hines County, and we know that crime is not respective of uh, lines, county lines, city lines, or any other lines. I know in the, back in the day, it sounded good to say, you bet not come over here, you bet not do this. The criminal's not listening to it anymore. The criminal's gonna go where they feel like they have the best opportunity to get what they're looking for, okay? So if you have communities that have a high income level, they're gonna to go to their community. So I think what we have to do is understand that we have to fight this uh, crime situation in the metropolitan area uh, co cohesively and collaboratively. So uh, Sheriff Bailey and Sheriff Tucker assured me that they are absolutely excited about working with the Highest County Sheriff's Department to control crime within all of our uh, counties and parishes. So I'm excited about that. I also met with all of the special agents in charge of the federal bureaus, uh, that being the uh, uh, Homeland Security, uh, FBI, DEA, and ATF. And all of them have agreed that they want to work closer with Hines County, the capital county of Mississippi, to ensure that we can get a handle on crime here. So I believe in partnership. I'm already establishing those partnerships. I will make sure that I have deputies that serve on every uh, federal agency as a task force agent to ensure that we have maximum uh, support and maximum resources to fight crime in and around Jackson.